Hey guys, welcome back. We have a very shy little Corella this morning. And there comes his mate. Mate for life, these big birds. So very similar to the cockatoo, but it doesn't have the big yellow crest on top of its head. It's just got a small white crest. And they've got sort of a, a blue ring around their eyes and a little bit of pink skin next to their beak. So it's, it's a pretty bird. Uh, there's a short-billed Corella and a long-billed Corella here in Australia. These ones are the short-billed Corella, so they've just got the little beaks. The long-billed Corella's got quite a long, dangerous-looking pointy beak. Uh, these guys have got a baby at the moment. The baby was here a bit earlier making that noise that babies do when they want to be fed. So these guys will probably eat all the seed and then they'll go and they'll, the seed goes into their crop in their neck and then they'll take it back to the, the nest and regurgitate, regurgitate it into baby's mouth. So yum yum. So we're just helping them out a little bit and giving them some breakfast, some seed. There you go. Pretty birds. Hope you're enjoying all this wildlife. I get something different pretty much every day in my backyard here in Queensland, Australia. You can see in the background there there's a currawong. Alright, we'll let them finish in peace and um, I'll go and do some pouring. Today I'm going to do a swipe and I'm going to do a swipe and tilt. I don't know if I've done one for you. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one so I thought I better get in and do one. So my pouring medium is the same one I use for the flip cups, the 70% glue and 30% water but instead of mixing it one to one I mix it two parts pouring medium to one part paint so it's a lot thinner. Um, I've got some nice dark colours here. I've got a dark navy, a dark bluey green. I've got some black and then I'm going to swipe with bronze. And uh, I'm looking for some lacing and some cells. And They're not going to be the same sort of cells as I do when I do my flip cups. But hopefully it's still going to be pretty. Um, the, I'm just using this sheet of plastic to swipe with. It's pretty much the same size. It hangs over just a touch which is good. So just a piece of um, a document holder that I've cut down. So that's that one. Get it out of the way. I've got my paper towel ready to go. I've got my torch ready to go. Um, I'm going to put some treadmill silicone in. I haven't got as much black as I've got of the blue and the green. So I'll just put two drops in the black. And you've got to remember because your mix is thinner, you don't need as much oil. And then just three in the other two colours. So two in that one, there's not as much in there, and three in the others. I'm going for like a dark, majestic-y sort of a look. look at that sort of royal, royal blues, royal greens, and then the splash of metallic. So that's sort of a look. Um, let me see if I can show you the consistency of this. I don't know if you can see in there, it's pretty dark, isn't it? What's that? No, just a bubble. Um, tiniest little mound. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Never mind. Two to one ratio. Okay, uh, so my colours, the swipe colour is this one here, Sergeant's. And it's bronze. I don't have a bronze in the global. So, and when I went online to try and get bronze, it was all sold out. So I'm just using Sargent's. And then the navy is my deep space. And this bluey green is called deep sea. Can't even see it anymore. It's got paint all over it. And then some black. So those are my sort of royal majestic colors. Um, now, I did a little practice one. 
oh, it's probably a few weeks ago now, just on a little bit of card. That's it. Nice and shiny. See the lacing? Got some cells. Uh, but the lacing is what I'm, I'm after. Hopefully you can pick up that shine in the window there. So that's what I'm going for. Betcha I can't reproduce it. <laughs> oh, never mind. So I'll put my colours on and I'm going to leave a little strip of canvas at the top there for my swipe colour. So let's do this. I won't use it all first. Let me see how much I've got before I use it all up. Put some more navy up here. And then some green in there. I'm going to tilt the canvas anyway, so I will cover all my little edges. So people that have trouble with flip cups and with getting cells, swiping I find, well I find it easy. I know other people struggle with it, I don't know why. Um, maybe your mix is too thick, too thin. You just have to have a play around with it. I've been doing this for a couple of years and the number of canvases I've scraped, I don't know how many. So you have to try something, if it doesn't work, scrape it, try something else. If it doesn't work, scrape it, try something else. Keep a record of what you're doing though, you know, if you're making your mix thicker or thinner. Keep a track of what you're doing so that you can recreate it and change that one thing for the next time. Okay, so now my blues and greens are on. I'm just going to put a little bit of black through, not too much. I'll put some black on the bottom there and then I can use that to run over the edge. Finger painting today. <laughs> there we go. I put some black on the sides as well just to finish it off but I'll tilt first and then I'll see how much I need. So move that out of the way. You can be moved out of the way as well. over the side there, cover up all your little gaps, Let go over, not quite, over the other side, off you go paint, you don't want to leave too much paint on your surface, Still running quite fast, so I'm just going to move it back a touch. I'll come down this way, cover up that little gap there that I had. Back again, centre it again. I don't think I put my little markers on the puppy pedal pad, did I? I don't think I really need markers today. It's not like I'm going to be picking it up and tilting it around, moving it around a lot. Let's continue that black through there. All right, so that's pretty. We could just leave it like that, couldn't we? Now, I'm hoping that this is going to not be the wrong consistency because it's, it's unlike my globals. It mixed up a little bit thicker. I did put two parts pouring medium to one part sergeants. And then it was leaving a mound on a mound and I thought, oh, it's too thick. Added a bit of water, stirred it up, added a bit more water. So we'll just, we'll just try it. Do want it to be a little bit thicker than I normally would do because I'm doing a tilt. I'm going to swipe and then I'm going to tilt. So I kind of want it to be thicker, but I don't want it to be too thick. So 
just have to have a little play around with it. Experiment. All right, that can go over the side there. Fill that in. It does feel quite thick. Oh no! Dripped. Get out. All right, let me just have a look at the back there. Just fill in these little blank areas. Must have had green on the glove, hey? It's dripped. Okay, so now the rest of the paint, because when I swipe, bronze is just going to come over the top and it's not going to actually make it all the way down to here so I need to put some more bronze in over here as well and I want lots of bronze so hopefully I've got enough there we go hopefully that's enough and hopefully I haven't made it too thick otherwise I've, that's pretty much all my bronze gone a little bottle's pretty empty now so I can't really do this again unfortunately I have to use a different color all right let's do this now my little bit of plastic I don't want to touch the very edge because it can make a bald edge so come in just a little bit touch it try not to let the plastic touch your other colors you just want to touch it in the in your swipe color make sure you've got one foot behind the other foot so that you can transfer your weight when you start leaning back if you have your both feet next to each other when you get to about here you're gonna fall over and we don't want any accidents in the studio now I'm just going to wipe my plastic with some with my little damp cloth here and it is ready to go next time. That's what I love about these sheets of plastic. You can use them over and over. They're a nice weight. Alright, how's that looking? Looking alright? So there's not as much here. There's a lot there, not as much here of the swipe colour, but I'm going to give it a torch and then we will tilt. So I'll, probably, I'll most likely be tilting a lot of that bronze off. Alright, let's wait a minute and see what it's going to do cells will come up because at the moment I've just pretty much got a lot of lacing over the top there so waiting for the cells to come up now love lacing the metallics usually will do lacing they're usually um, a thinner pigmentation or lighter pigmentation so they kind of float up to the top get lacing use a transparent paint okay so I guess we could just leave it at that but we are swapping and tilting today so pick up the little push pins And what I'm going to try and do is get that bronze to leave the party. I want him to go. It's going faster up here. I must have had more paint up this side, which is a bit of a shame because I kind of want them all to go at the same time, but I might have to get the weight of the paint down there a little bit. Just so that I can get that paint to go over the edge at the same time. I'll come back a bit. 
don't really want to leave bronze corners. I wanted the whole thing to be covered. So I'll have to go that way. And stop. And come back just a touch. How pretty is that looking, you guys? Look at it shining in the light there. I've got a window just off to my light, my left, your right. It's shining in the window, in the light there. Now I have to try so carefully not to overstretch as I go for that last little corner and back. There we go. That is exactly what I wanted. What do you think? Admittedly, it doesn't look the best at the moment, but once it dries and that metallic bronze pops up through all these little veins here, all these little veins of metallic, and the lacing, look at, look at the lacing over here. Uh, I guess I could have gone thicker. My other one, looking at it now, it was thicker. And uh, I've got more metallic on there. Just playing with my composition now. I think that will do. Show you the other one, my little practice one. So this one has got obviously got more um, of the bronze. I must have had it thicker because it's sitting on top more, and the lacing is more prominent. Uh, this one is still really pretty. The navy has popped up a lot more, but it's wet, so you know it will look more like this when it's dry. So. I won't stress about it too much just yet. I think it's really pretty. Okay, I'll take you in for a close-up so you can see what I mean about the lacing because you might not be able to see it from up there. And then I might, oh, I've got these tiny little bits here that the canvas is just showing through when my plastic kind of went over the edge. So I will fix those up off camera because there's no point me wasting your time watching me do that. Alrighty, I'll fix that up later. Let me take you in for a close up. Get my grubby gloves off. I'll take the camera down now and then show you the details, the pretty details. Okay, and hopefully you get the, an idea of the actual colour of it from here. I better stay here, I think, otherwise I've got light above me. All right, let me see how close I can get to the lacing. So when it dries, the navy will dry a lot darker. It goes almost black. Oh, is that better? I don't know. Too much glare. All right, uh, let's have a look down here in this corner here. Put that lacing down there. It's showing a little bit lighter than it is actually. It's just a bit glary. I can't really make it any darker. I think my phone's updated. I used to be able to change the color, but um, yeah, I can't do it anymore. Like if something looked a bit glary, I could turn it down a bit, like the brightness, but it's not letting me do that anymore. So boo-hoo, I don't like updates on phones. There we go. Hope you like that. I'm going to come around from here because this is more of a, a natural colour, I think. All right, so there's the lacing. Go 
go up here. I guess I could have cut down on the oil a little bit. Hardly had any, really. Maybe one drop in the black and two in the colours instead next time. And I could have really made the swipe colour a little bit thicker, the metallic, just because I really wanted more of that lacing there, that gorgeous lacing. So I'll go again. I don't think I've got enough of the sergeants, but I've got some gold sergeants, so I can do that one again. And uh, I'll just do two to one, two parts pore medium, one part paint, and I won't add any extra water. And uh, I think that would be a good uh, consistency for it. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you for the next pour. Bye for now.